Hello. 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 How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I hope that you are too. Hello. Hello. Hello and how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I hope that you are too. Thank you. Hey, good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing today? Great. Oh, great. Well, I'm here. Um, we're going to actually be meeting some mammals, but first I'll introduce you, or we're going to meet mostly some reptiles today, but first I'll introduce you to one small mammal that I have with me. This is my daughter, Viola. Viola, do you want to wave hi to everyone at Aaron's Acres? Hi. So a lot of people wonder, what have we been up to this spring and summer? Because um, we've had over 100 of our regular animal shows canceled, so we haven't been doing all of our normal stuff on the road. But here at the Reptile Sanctuary, um, all, we have over 100 animals that we care for every single day. And so we always stay really busy taking care of lizards and turtles and snakes, even some alligators. And so what we thought would be fun is since we can't come to um, regular camp at the park in Mannheim to see you guys, we thought we would bring you guys through our virtual camp into our reptile sanctuary to help take care of the animals with us. Um, if you think that sounds fun, taking care of some animals with us this summer, show me a thumbs up. I'd love to see that. Great, guys. Well, Viola, do you want to tell everyone what animals we're going to be taking care of this morning? Fox turtle. So this morning, we're going to show you our turtle garden. Um, and to do this, a lot of times when we do Zoom, I'll have a laptop or a computer, something like that open. But because we're going to be going through our turtle garden, I'm using my phone, which means I'm not going to probably see every single person while I'm doing it. So, um, you know, for Eric or Elaine or anyone who is kind of moderating, feel free to interrupt me at any time um, as I'm going through. So if you guys monitor the questions and you have a good question for me at any time, go ahead and interrupt me and I'm happy to answer some questions. But um, what I'll do is I'll start by showing you, we're up here on the deck above the turtle garden. So I'll start by showing you what the turtle garden looks like. And you will probably not believe how many turtles, how many turtles because we have uh, somewhere over tur 20 turtles in this garden. And when you look at it, you usually see one or two, but when Viola and I start going through the turtle garden, um, you are going to find a whole lot of different turtles. So, um, should we show them, Viola? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go, guys. I'm going to flip the camera around. I'll give you the grand tour of the turtle garden. And then we're going to, we have to go find the turtles. That's half the job of feeding them. And then after we find them, we're going to feed them uh, some turtle food. And I'll give you a hint, guys. Turtles love to eat bugs. So you guys will get to see some of our turtles eating bugs here in just a second. So let me uh, flip it around for you. And I'll give you the grand tour. Sorry guys, okay, so uh, hopefully you can hear me again. But we're up here, this is three of our ponds that we have for our aquatic turtles. And you can see the shadows are gonna play tricks on us. But there's a little waterfall and pond over there. This is our bigger pond here in the middle. See if you can start to see that. I think that adjusts a, a, okay. Um, and that's our bottom pond set up more like a wetland pond. So we're not gonna worry as much about the aquatic turtles, but I'll show you what we usually do. See this food? This looks just like dog food, but it's actually not dog food. This is special food that's just for reptiles. And so in order to feed our aquatic turtles, we just go up to the deck. And I don't know if you can see, we're just sprinkling in. Uh, we just sprinkle in some of this food. Viola, do you want to throw in some food for the turtles? So Viola is one of my main helpers when we are doing our turtle feeding. Go ahead, throw a little bit in the middle pond, Viola, and throw a little bit in the top pond. And so Viola is six years old. She just finished up kindergarten. And she is going to help us find some turtles and look for some turtles. Oh, but before we do that, you know what? Box turtles don't just eat bugs. Can you guess what else box turtles eat besides bugs? Give you a hint. Here's some of the food that we have for them. So these are some berries. And now if you look in our box turtle garden, I don't know if you can see down there, we have uh, we have some bushes that are growing berries all through here. We have raspberry bushes, we have blueberry bushes, 
And that, that helps the box turtles to be able to eat. Even when we're not here to feed them, they love to forage and look for food. So Viola, come up here and help me throw some berries down. So we like to take our berries like this. You go ahead and take a whole box, Viola. And so we like to throw them right where our fruit bushes are. So until the fruit itself gets ripe, watch what we're gonna do. See, that's a blueberry bush right down here in the middle. And we're going to throw some berries right underneath it. And that way they get trained in looking for berries right near our berry bushes. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. Look at this wild raspberry bush. You can start to see berries down there, but we're just gonna throw some berries all around it. Even before they get ripe, the turtles are gonna know that's where they look. Um, these apples are way too big for box turtles, but we do have some big African tortoises that are gonna be out here grazing in the yard. So I'm gonna throw these down. Watch this, this is kind of fun when you have a reptile rescue, you just throw fruit in your backyard. And so that tortoise comes out, I saw him out grazing already this morning. We'll see if he'll eat those apples up close. And I'm gonna take one more or two more handfuls of these berries. You guys recognize what these are. These are blueberries. I'm gonna throw these over here. So you can see we have a line of blueberry bushes over in that area. We're gonna get a lot closer to the turtles in a second, but this is just how we start. We start up on the deck and we throw some fruit down around the berry plants and we throw some pellets into the ponds. Now I'm gonna take you guys into the reptile room because we need to get our food for the box turtles. This is their favorite food. Now, if you don't like bugs, don't look at this part because there's gonna be some bugs. But this is their favorite food. They love to eat these kind of worms. They're called super worms. And box turtles will eat lots of different worms. Um, the only kind of worms I like to eat are called gummy worms. I don't know, maybe some of you guys like to eat gummy worms, but these are super worms. And we are going to start bringing them down here. We're now leaving the deck. We're gonna walk around here. And now we're gonna be up close in the turtle garden. So you can see, this is a nice pool we have here. These are some of our little blueberry bushes where we were throwing down some of the blueberries. And you can see the blueberries are all around the floor here. So our turtles will be able to find them. You can see on our real blueberry bushes, there are lots of blueberries that are getting ready. They're not ready yet, but in the meantime, all around the ground, look at all those berries that we just threw down. So until our blueberries get ripe, our turtles are able to forage through the garden and find the berries that we throw down. Now, in the meantime, we're gonna start finding some of our turtles. And this is what you guys have really been waiting for. You see these cute little guys? So we are gonna start finding our turtles. We're gonna bring them into this pool and then we're gonna throw some worms in for them to eat. And we put them in the pool because that makes it really easy for them to be able to catch the worms. So we're gonna throw handfuls of worms in here. Look at this. Did you guys ever think you'd wanna have a job where you just take a handful <laughs> of worms? That might kind of gross some people out, but we'll just pick up a handful of worms. We throw them in for the turtles. And now this is the fun part. Now we're gonna go through the turtle garden and we're gonna start finding turtles. And I want you guys at home to count with me how many turtles we are finding. One. All right, so Viola, close that log. And this is how we do it. We have all these neat logs and hiding areas they hide in, and we have to check under each one. So Viola, go ahead and check. Look at that, three turtles we find under the first log. So Viola's gonna pick up those turtles. Dad. Yes, hon? Here's one you can hold and there's one over there. Oh, Viola's gonna make me help. Great, so now I've gotta help. I'm gonna be a turtle carrier, and I'm going to be a phone carrier. But you can see these little guys are always happy because they know when we find them, they know it is time to eat. Okay, so let's try to keep it count. Oh, remember that little guy in here that we showed you? <laughs> Look what he has in his mouth already. Our little guy's already eating his first worm. So, and that, that's the smallest one you can see compared to these big ones, that other one's really little. But so far we're up to four turtles in here and it doesn't take long. You see that? They go right for their worms. Worms is their favorite breakfast. All right, Viola is up to five. Wait, do we have more than five? No, we're up to six already. Okay, so we're up to six turtles. Count with me, we're up to six. 
Viola, let's go back over to this section. And this is part of our fun work that we do every day at the Reptile Rescue. We don't collect all the box turtles every single day for feeding like this, but every single day, oh, there's one. You wanna get that one for me, Viola? Mm -hmm. Every single day, uh, we're taking care of some of our animals. Some of them need to eat every day. Some of our animals, like our big pythons and bowel constrictors, they only eat about once a month or a couple times a month. Now, Viola, walk over to that tortoise. I want, I want you to introduce them to the tortoise while you're here. Viola, walk over to our tortoise, that's the little guy, and show them the difference in size between our big African tortoise and our little box turtle. Huge difference there. Box turtles, that's an adult. He's not gonna get much bigger. This tortoise is gonna get much, much bigger. A couple hundred pounds. You guys probably remember meeting some of our big tortoises walking around the park in Mannheim if you met us at Aaron's Acres camp last summer. So that's our big tortoise. That's the first one to wake up. That's actually our smallest one. Usually the smaller ones wake up first. The bigger ones take a little while to warm up and wake up. And I'm sure all the grown-ups watching, you guys can identify with that. The older you get, sometimes the harder it is to wake up in the morning. So we're up to, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven box turtles. Uh, should we keep looking for more? Give me a thumbs up if you think we should look for more. All right, guys, we're gonna find even more. Now, Viola's looking under some of our big hideouts. Oh, she found two more under there, look at that. And you'll see one of our hideouts that we have, it looks like a rock over here to the right of the blueberry plant. Looks like a rock, it's actually a big foam cave and they love to hide in those caves. So we're up to eight, nine. Now under the hostas is a great place, but before we check the hostas, we'll check some more of these rocks. Here's a big foam rock, let's see, it is. Oh, there's another one, Viola, go ahead and get it. Hey, where'd you guys go? I can't see you. Hopefully you guys can still see me. We'll find out here in a second. Hopefully you guys can still see me. I lost my picture here. Wait, okay, I think you guys can still see me. I have my picture again. Viola, what are we up to? Are we up to nine or 10? Viola is counting for us. We're up to 10. Okay, Viola, go ahead and lift this big rock over here. We'll see what we have under there. We are up, oh, no turtles under that rock. Okay, guys, we're gonna go all the way around towards the pond area, see how many we get. What'd you say we're up to 10, Viola? Yeah. And we always try to get to at least 15. We don't know exactly how many turtles live here, but we know if we get to 15, we know that's most of them. And we try to make sure at least most of them get fed. Oh, I see another one, Viola. Oh, wait, let me, don't get too close. I'm gonna show everyone. This one has something in his mouth. What is he eating? I can't even tell, but I think he probably found a worm or maybe a berry. No, I see exactly what he's eating. He's eating some of that pellet food. That was some of the pellet food that we just threw down from the deck. And it's supposed to be for the water turtles, but even the box turtles love that. Okay, Viola, so I see this one. Oh, guys, I see another one over here with a pellet in his mouth. Look at this guy. Is that cute? See, see how he's got a pellet in his mouth? He's trying to stick his head in, but it won't fit because he has a big pellet in his mouth. All right, so Viola found one. And let's take these over, Viola. You get those two. I'll get this one. And I think that puts us up to what, 13 or so? and we didn't even check under the hostas yet. So we're gonna put all of these guys in. We'll see how they're doing with eating their bugs. And I hope you guys have some good questions for me. Oh, I see another one coming out of that hosta already, Viola. All right, so I think we're gonna be up to 13. We're gonna check the bug supply. Look at how this pond is getting full of turtles. Is this kind of crazy? And we'll put some more bugs in there. Make sure they have plenty of bugs to eat. Wow, look at them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I can't even count them all. Is that, I think, is that 13 or is it 12? One, two, three, six. Thirteen. All right, guys, we're gonna try to get up to 15 at least. We don't know exactly how many box turtles are in here, 
And of course, we have not counted a single water turtle, a single aquatic turtle, but here under this hosta, yep, that's why I saw this guy moving around. So go ahead, Viola, take this one, put this one away. So that'll put us up to 14. We're gonna look under this hosta. So under the hosta, that's where a lot of these guys hide out. And you see, if we move all these leaves, it's a really good place for us to find turtles. And so the way, yes, Viola? How about we tell them about the egg we buried? Oh, yes, we'll tell them about the eggs a little bit later. Um, but what Viola was getting at is that sometimes in this turtle garden, there are eggs. Oh, oh, found guys. See who's hiding down there? That's why this is such a big job because we have to work forever. Here you go, Viola. Dad. To find all our turtles. Is that number 15? Um, no. This is, I think, number, I don't know. But after this, I'm going to go give this to Ben. Okay, Viola. All right, we're going to check a little bit under these hostas. We might get over 15 today because it seems like these guys are hungry and they are out and they are active. So some of the turtles we have are called Eastern box turtles and they're a native Pennsylvania turtle and they're a protected species. We need to have a special permit to have Eastern box turtles. That Other... one I just put in made 16. Oh, wow. That's, Viola says we're up to 16. Um, so the Eastern box turtles, we need a special permit to have. If you find an Eastern box turtle in the wild, you definitely want to leave them in the wild because they're a wild animal. But we have some other kinds called three-toed box turtles. And um, I think we have one called a Gulf Coast box turtle. So there are all these different kinds of box turtles. <laughs> Look at them going here. You can see sometimes they flip over. <laughs> so if we see them flipped over, they usually get fixed by themselves, but we're gonna help them. Let's give them a little bit of a helping hand there. So look at all these turtles. Oh, here's another one, guys. See this one? I just found this one under the hosta. Now this is a very old turtle. His name's Red. And I'll tell you the story about Red. Is that a new one you just found, Viola? Yeah. Wow, we're funny. I don't even know what we're up to. We have to be getting close to 20. But Red uh, lived with the same woman for around 50 years. But box turtles live so long they can live to be over a hundred years old. And so when Red came to live with us, he had lived with the same person for longer than a lot of us have even been alive. So Red is the oldest, uh, the oldest person living at this house. And you can see he's looking for his food already. Sometimes you get these guys a little bit too close and they take nibbles at each other. And so they usually get along pretty well if they have enough space and they have enough food so I'm going to finish checking the rest of this hosta. And Viola, did you find that? Did you find the other juvenile? What other juvenile? We should have two juveniles. Hold up that one in your hand so you can see how little it is. So this one is our smallest one right now in there. And he's a hatchling that was born here, or that was hatched here, I believe, two years ago. And we have, I think, one more like that in here somewhere. But they're very hard to find. All right, well... You guys are getting a good idea. This is what it's like to feed our box turtles. First, we have to find the turtles, and then we put them in a container like this so that their food does not crawl away. And then look at them all through here, and they're all just eating some worms. Try to get a good close-up of some of these guys eating worms if I can for you. Oh, look at that guy. He is really hungry. You see, he's just munching away there. Uh, here's another very old one that I have right there. With a beautiful orange head. That's a very old male. We call him George. And he loves to eat worms. Uh, this is a nice old female. Where is she? There she is. Nice old female. She has her mouth full. This is a time in Pennsylvania. Oops, I just turned this off. Let me see if I could find the picture again. But this is a time in Pennsylvania in May and June when turtles love to dig in the ground. They love to dig in the ground and lay their eggs. And just yesterday, my son Kenny and I were on a bike trail and we found not one, not two, not three, but four different turtles were digging a nest uh, along the bike trail. So this time of year, you may find many turtles crawling through your backyard 
uh, maybe crossing the road to get to a nesting spot. Oh, Viola, look, there's another turtle in the corner over there. That one I just let out. Oh, you let that one out because it was done eating? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, did he really? That's fun. So, uh, so this time of year, you'll find lots of turtles. Oh, look at that. He just ate a worm right off his friend's back. Do you see that? <laughs> these guys are so hungry. Uh, lots of these turtles will be out digging in the ground, finding uh, nice uh, garden mulch or compost or sand or gravel. Those would all be popular places where turtles love to lay their eggs. So those are a few of our box turtles. You guys have any questions for me about these box turtles? Look at this girl, she has two, two worms in her mouth at the same time. Um, can we see the alligators where they live? Oh, the alligators, yeah, I can show you those. Before we do that, I, want, I found our big tortoise so I want to show you our big tortoise eating some apples. Remember the box turtles love to eat things uh, like bugs and berries, but our, box, our, our tortoises love to eat plants. So I'm gonna bring you over here to this tortoise. Hey girl, and <laughs> we're gonna put an apple down for her. See what she likes to do with this apple. Boy, that did not take long, did it, guys? Uh, let me hold that for you so it doesn't go, go too far. There you are, girl. So turtles and tortoises do not have teeth. If we get a close look, I'm going to try to get a close look here. Uh, you'll see <laughs> she, she's hit my camera with the apple. Uh, but if you get a close look, you'll see they don't have a, they don't have teeth, but they do have a powerful beak. Look at her getting right up close to that apple. She will devour that whole apple. In fact, I'm going to give her two apples today as a special treat because she has not had any fruit for a few days. Um, but she will make this apple disappear. And you can see, even though they don't have teeth, you don't want to get a bite from a turtle or tortoise because they have so I'm trying to get in here I'm having a hard time getting the best shot for you guys um, but they, they have powerful jaw pressure you can see those big mouth and they will give you a really strong pinch my finger is getting really close to where she's eating <laughs> if she does bite my finger you'll hear me scream a little bit she won't take it off um, but when she does bite a toe or bite a finger, you will usually yell a little bit. Do you guys have any turtle or tortoise questions for me? Do tortoises have sharp beaks? Oh, good question. Tortoises have relatively sharp beaks, um, not as sharp or not shaped the same way as a, as a sharp tooth would be shaped. Um, so it's, it's sharp enough that you can see she's having no problem uh, dismembering that entire apple. Look at her going right through that thing. So it's sharp enough to cut through there. But when I've had big tortoises this size bite my toe by accident, um, it did not break the skin. It did leave a little bit of a mark, but it did not break the skin. So it's more of a strong pinch. Um, a good comparison, if you've ever been bitten by a crayfish, it's kind of similar. It's a strong pinch. It may leave a mark, but it's probably not going to break the skin. Uh, if it was a snapping turtle, it would be a little more powerful. They're designed to do a little more than just eat apples and grass. Uh, but the tortoises just eat apples and grass. Good question. Emily, did you have a question? No. Does anybody else have any turtle questions before Jesse shows us the alligator and then we say goodbye? Oh, wait, maybe Chi has a question. Like, oh, there, go ahead. You are unmuted. Oh, okay, all right. All right. So I have a question. Okay. 
How do you get that big tortoise? You say, how did I get it? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we get animals typically when they get too big for people to keep them. And so this is an animal that was about the size of a ping pong ball when they brought it home as a pet. In fact, this one was about the size of a softball when it was given to us. You can see now that apple is a little bit smaller than a softball, but you can see he's certainly bigger than a softball at this point. So that's just an animal that people get thinking it's going to stay little and it gets very big. So if you're thinking about getting a pet reptile, you definitely want to stick with something like um, a three-toed box turtle that will stay very little or a, a corn snake or a gecko that will stay very little. You don't want to get something like this African tortoise who's already big enough to eat entire apples and is just getting started. Keep in mind, this is a big tortoise, but this is our smallest tortoise out of three tortoises that we have right now. The other two are still asleep. Great, last chance. Any other questions? Jaden, give me one second. Jaden, unmute your mic and you can ask your question. Turtles can swim. Um, some turtles spend almost their entire life in the water. So we have uh, a species of aquatic turtle here called a painted turtle. And we did not see them today because they were in the water and they never came out of the water. When we threw our food in the ponds, that food was mostly for the painted turtles. Although some of that food fell out of the ponds and we saw the box turtles were eating it when we found those box turtles that had their mouths full of pellets. They were eating the food that was meant for the painted turtles. Um, so our box turtles do not swim very much and our tortoises do not swim very much. But most turtles actually live most of their lives in the water, like painted turtles or sea turtles. So, and if you're looking at the side of the head, you might be able to see what looks a little bit like ears, but you don't see big floppy external ears on a tortoise like you would on a mammal. I don't know if you guys can see what looks like a little bit of, of an ear on the side of that guy, but there are no external ears on a turtle or tortoise. Not big floppy ones like we have. Sorry, the shadows are playing tricks with us here this morning. Everything's perfect, Jesse. Um, oh. Did you want to take them inside and show them the one alligator real quick? I yeah, know that today we're focusing on turtles, but we did have that question. Yeah, I'll show you real quick where alligators live, and we're not going to explore the whole thing today because we're going to be up. But we'll save. We're planning to explore the alligators and iguanas in their outdoor area another time. But I'll just give you a little preview of it. Great. They, uh, see at least one alligator that's out basking. It might jump in before we get close enough. I saw one just jump in. You see, there's one basking on that log right close to us. So there's three alligators in that pond. And I think you guys can see at least that little one basking on the log. Now we're gonna zoom up and look up above there. If you see on that branch on the far end of the iguana house, that's one of our iguanas. And show you real quick, I'm sure as I go in, my alligators are probably going to dive in. See that one as we get closer, you'll, yep, there he goes. That's what we expect. He's gonna jump in. There's another little one swimming just surface there. You can see some pond plants that help naturally filter the water. We have the logs that they can bask on. So just introduce you to this girl here. We're not going to feed her today, but maybe we will on one of our next ones. So this is uh, Jade. You guys probably met her at camp. She is one of our two iguanas that live out here in the iguana house. The other one is hiding somewhere right now. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, visiting with me. Let me try to flip this around. So I can say goodbye to you in person. All right. Well, guys, um, I think I'll, uh, there's a lot of funny shadows in here from the Iguana House. Maybe that's a little bit better. I can't quite tell. Uh, but anyway, guys, thanks for visiting with me here today. Thanks for inviting us to your virtual camp. I hope you guys enjoyed meeting some of our reptiles and learning this is some of the work that we do when we're not doing animal shows and when we're not doing other fun things like that. We are taking care of lots of different animals, usually over a hundred animals here. And that's how Viola and Kenny and I take care of our box turtles. We have to find them, 
then we have to put them in a container and then we get them some of their food and put that food in the container so it doesn't crawl away before they can get it. So thanks guys for giving reptiles a chance. I hope you have a great day. All right, so we're gonna do some dancing today. We're gonna get ourselves moving on this Monday morning. First, I'm gonna show you guys some of the dance moves that we're gonna do, and then we're gonna stretch, and then we'll dance and move around, and we'll finish with some more stretching. Is everybody ready? Give me thumbs up. All right, so first, I'm just gonna show you some of the moves we're gonna do. First thing is we're gonna reach up really high and try to touch the sky. That's one of our first moves, see how high you can reach. And then you're gonna reach down low and touch your toes like this. So really easy, stretch up and then down. The second move that you're gonna do is a march. So you're just gonna march in place like this. You're gonna move your arms like this if you want. And you're just gonna be stepping and lift your knees up really high. And then we're also gonna run in place. So it's the same thing, but you just do it faster like this. Okay, good job guys. I see all of you running already, good. The other moves that we're gonna do today are a step. So you're gonna step to the right and then bring your foot in and then step to the left and bring your foot in. So that's really easy. You just do that back and forth like this. And we're gonna do some jumping jacks. So you bring your arms out like this and your feet go out at the same time. And then you bring them back in like this, snap them together. And then you just keep doing that. Good job. And we'll just also be doing some, this is called a grapevine, but you basically just go and walk to the right, stop, and then march to the left and stop. We might do it to the front and the back too. So is everybody ready to get started with some stretching today? All right. All right, everybody. First, we're going to start. We're going to sit down on the floor. So put your feet out in front of you. Stretch up. Great job, guys. Then reach your toes. Reach up again. And touch your toes. Good job. Now you're gonna put your feet out like this, and you're gonna stretch to the right. And switch to the other side. Now switch your arms out to the side as far as you can. And just wrap back and forth. All right, now bring your feet together like this, and you're going to do butterfly. Great job, guys. All right, now we're going to stand up, okay? Take your right arm, wave like this, stretch it across your body like this. Great job, guys. Now we're gonna switch, take your left arm, stretch it across like this. Great job, guys. Weave your right arm again, and you're gonna put it behind your head like this, and hold on to your elbow. Good, and switch. Good job, guys. Now we're gonna stretch out your legs, so take your right leg, and you're gonna hold it back like this. And switch. Great job, guys. Now we're just gonna squat down really low. So put your legs and your arms out and stretch out like this. Get your legs all nice and warm. Good job, guys. All right, stand back up. And just lift your legs up like this. Get your legs nice and warm. All right, guys. Check it out. Okay. 
Okay. Everybody ready to start dancing? Okay, make sure, I forgot to say this, if you have water, make sure it's near you. You can take a drink break whenever you need it, because I know I'm going to need it too. All right, here we go. All right, you guys are going to stand in place and move. A lot of fun exercising just standing in place. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, right, first thing we're going to stretch. Oh, stretch it out. Jumping jacks, here we go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. Good job, guys. Run it, please. See how fast you can go. Wiggle, wiggle your arms and your legs. Okay, so all warmed up. Oh, jeez. We're in a place again. Great job, guys. You look awesome. Jump. See how high you can jump. Good job, guys. Okay, see how fast you can go. See how fast you can go. Keep going. Good job, guys. Now we're going to cool down a little and stretch it out. See if you can touch your toes too. Great job stretching out, guys. Stretch whatever you need to. Make sure you feel ready to dance. All right. I think we should all be nice and awake and ready for some fun songs now. <laughs> All right, guys, ready? We're going to start with our march. So remember, lift your legs up as high as you can. Ready? Now we're going to march to the right. Ready? And back to the left. And back to the middle. March in place. Urgent is from New York City and it's from New York, New York, New York. Alexa, sorry guys, Alexa had a message for me. Let's try that again. <laughs> Arch in place, guys. Good job. All right, now stretch out and touch your toes. And come up again. Good job, guys. And one more. And get ready to do some jumping jacks. And now run in place. Good job, guys. Back to jumping jacks. And run in place. 
gonna go back to marching. March. Good job, guys. We're gonna go to the right. And back to the left. Back to the center. And stretch. Stretch. Get ready for some jumping jacks. Run. Jumping jacks. And run. We're going to do some step touches. Step clap. Great job, guys. And march. All right, guys, get a drink break if you need one. We're going to move into our next dance. Oh, this one I forgot to mention. We're going to do freeze dance. So we're going to move like animals. And when they say freeze, you have to freeze whatever you're doing, okay? We're going to stop like elephants. Ready? Like this. Ready? And stop. You can move your arms if you want. When I say freeze, so move. Oh my gosh, you guys look like statues. Good job. Waddle like a penguin. Great job, guys. Yeah. Freeze. Don't move. Oh, good job, guys. We're going to hop like kangaroos. Good job, guys. You look awesome. When I say freeze. Don't move. We're gonna swim. Up, 
we're gonna go back to marching. Good job, guys. Now we're gonna step out to the right. And left. Right, left. Reach up, guys. Right, left. All right, get ready to run, guys. Good job, guys. And reach up, down, up, down. Shake it off. Run. Up, down, up, down. Shake it off. March. We're going to go to the front. And now back. All right, guys. We're going to take a quick break and stretch. Let's go back and forth. And now we're going to do some jumping jacks. March. Get ready. We're going to run again. Run. Great job, guys. Reach up, down, up, down. Shake it off. Run. Reach up, guys. Reach up, down, up, down. Shake it off. March. Woo. Guys, look awesome. All right. Everybody take a split second and get a drink break. And we're going to finish off with some stretching. We're going to listen to some Lion King. All right, ready? Kick your legs up. So you can stretch your legs out. We did lots of running. Good job, guys. Now step out together. Out together. Out together. Out, together. Now reach up. Good job. Touch your toes. Reach up again. Touch your toes. Take your right arm, wiggle it out. Take your left arm and wiggle it out. Take your right arm and wiggle it up. And take your left arm and wiggle it up. And shake out your right leg. Good. Head left. All right, guys. Nice job today. You guys did an awesome job dancing with me. Sorry that Alexa had a message for me in the middle of our song. I'll have to yell at her for that. But you guys did awesome. Great job dancing. Make sure you drink lots of water today. Stay hydrated. It's going to be hot out there. So have fun at camp and have a good day. Bye, guys. Go. Now it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. Now it's time.